president holds a rally in Michigan and opts to once again skip the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Joe Concha, media reporter for The Hill, joins me now. All right, Joe, the president, I mean, he's right. I mean, he sits there, he can laugh. He doesn't laugh. He's going to be criticized. But he said, look, I'd rather be with the people as he is there in, uh, in Michigan. Your take? I think, Judge, yeah, that, that some people would say, many people would say that he's at his best when he's at rallies like that, that that sort of campaigning. He seems like he's at his most comfortable, most happy place when he's doing those sort of rallies. And look, Roger Ailes used to say, and obviously he's the late former uh, CEO and chairman of, of Fox News, that television is a visual medium. And many times tonight, if you watched your televisions, there was a split screen. On one side, you have the president in Washington, not Washington, D.C., but Washington, Michigan, talking to working class people at a rally in a state that he had no business winning in terms of the blue wall coming down. And that was Michigan, obviously, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania coming down with that as well. On the other side, you have and I was at the Washington uh, White House Correspondents Dinner last year. You know, I was in my tuxedo. I was drinking my champagne. I, I was with other journalists. Yeah. But the way that looks, if you compare the two on television, mm -hmm. is only good for President Trump because so many people distrust the media right now and see them as out of touch in the swamp and most importantly, people that are elite and can't relate to working class people in places like Michigan. So this was, again, a very good move by the president. He did it last year in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And and what I can you say? That. I mean, that, that, that was a smart move. He certainly wouldn't be well served going to the White House Correspondents Dinner, where he'd probably be mocked the entire evening. That we've seen before, and that would probably happen again. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want to move on to something else, and that has to do with the uh, with a little uh, uh, spat this week. Uh, Kanye West saying good things about the president uh, and that they both have uh, what, what was not dragon energy I forget what the energy was uh, it wasn't tiger and, blood it was definitely dragon <laughs> energy tiger blood is Charlie Sheen let's make right that clear. dragon energy all right and uh, and then the left going ballistic they were it was almost like McCarthyism you cannot say anything that is against our group thinker we're gonna throw you out of the club I think we may have some sound on that okay and by the way in all fairness Kanye West gets it. He gets it. He gets it. And he saw that. When he sees that African American unemployment is the lowest in history, you know, people are watching. That's a very important thing he's done for his legacy. It's a very important thing. And you know what? No matter how they pushed back at Kanye, he didn't care. He doubled down. I hear he has a song today. He versus the people is something where he doubles down. Well, good for him because Kanye West was called crazy. People were actually questioning his mental health as a result of saying that he supported President Trump. Stephen Colbert did it. If that's the case, Judge, if everybody's crazy, if you support President Trump, that means, and I counted it up, 62,979,879 people who voted for him in 2016 are also crazy. And, and we've seen this argument used against the president himself uh, on many occasions. And look, remember last year, over the summer, about this time, where, where the president was talking about Kim Jong-un and how there's going to be a fire right. and fury bestowed upon him like never before. And people said, that's crazy. You're going to start World War III. Well, where are we now? We have North Korea and South Korea talking at a summit just this week. Amazing. And that peninsula could be denuclearized as a result. So is he crazy or what? So yeah, Smart. to criticize Kanye West, to your point, is absolutely ridiculous to gotta, say he's crazy when he's just simply go, being on principle. I know you got to go. Sorry All about right. that. I got to go myself. Have a good Saturday. <laughs> Joe Concha, love having you on. We'll be right back.